You're can doing you see, it though. Can you see the smoke coming off my head? You know how the this is a little perspiration. That's all. That's all. That's all work. You know steam. when you really like, yeah, when you're it's like in the steam. middle of like a game or something like that, and there's yeah. steam coming off your head, and you're like, oh, yeah. that's it's real. I'm going back over to Japan. I play over there in the off seasons. I play over there in spring and in the fall. So this is going to be my fourth season over there. So yeah, I'll be doing that until November. I think the toughest thing about being a professional softball player and being in this league is that it's such a yearly thing. And so people are asking me, oh, what, what's going to happen next year? What's going to happen the year after? And it's like, I really don't know because, you know, we just kind of live by the summer, live by each season. and go from there. Because there could be a day the board in UCSA says, you know what, the league's not going anywhere, we're not getting a return on investment, we can't continue to keep funding the pride. And, and unfortunately, that's just the way life is, but it's what I'm also holding on to that I want us to be a profitable portion of UCSA and so that I can start helping UTRIP in that way. Um, a little bit. I think that we all try to give it our all, everything that we have. Um, but I mean, we're not like the MLB where we can take the off season and do absolutely nothing. We still have to make a living and do things for ourselves because it's going to be hard. We can't make a living off of this and be able to do it forever. So it's tough to give it our all, you know, to put everything we have every day into this sport and into the off season training when we have to also focus on other things which I think down the road, if we were able to just be professional athletes and just focus on that in the off season and in season, it would just be huge for our sport and for our league itself. Definitely in the off season, it can be very like, what am I doing? I Sometimes I would just go and I'm like, I'm gonna apply for a job because I can get it. And then it's like, but I can't actually have a job that uh, normal people have because in three months, I'm gonna have to go and play softball and train. And I'm gonna be like, hey, can I have three months off? And they're going to say no and I'm going to get fired. So it's definitely weird just not having something you know that you're going to do and not having that, like, you can't just settle down and settle down into a place because you don't know where you're going to be. And I think that's definitely, like, a struggle in the off season. When you're in the season, you don't feel that because it's like, this is what I'm here to do, this is my job. And then those three months are over and you're like, what do I do now? Because I'm not going to train for the next nine months. So I think it's definitely a lost and wandering feelings at times, but it's also a lucky feeling when you get closer to that and you know what you're doing and what you're striving for. Um, yes, do we all know we want to be on TV? Yes, but instead of just making such a blunt statement with nothing to back it up, now I'm in a position to say, hey, how do we get people interested in our game and want to be on TV? Well, it's going to get butts in the seats. I think it's just starting to make itself, like, it's a development, but a lot of girls are now looking to like want to be a part of it. College kids are looking to be a part of it. So if it just ends at college, then it's like, what are, what are they going to do? Like, how do we even grow the sport anymore when a girl knows she can only go till she's a senior in college and then she's done? And then it's like off to the real world. I think it would be very sad and I would just go get a, a job. <laughs> but I would be sad for all the girls to come after me and I think that's why we all stay in it. It's because we want there to be something more. We know it's growing and we know it's becoming more impactful to everyone around us. So it would be really sad if it was just gone. Effortless. Effortless. Yeah. If I could change anything about the game, it's that we'd be playing on TV. I think that makes the big difference in like how we grow the sport. If you can't see the game and it's just like, oh, it's in a town near you, then it's like you're not going to get the viewership that we want. And by putting this game out there, it's such a great game and we play it so well and every game is, what do they call it, like a dog fight? <laughs> when we play those great games and they're not seen on TV, it's like, 
well, the people in the stands saw them, but TV makes a difference because that's how you get people involved and that's how you grow the sport. So if I could change anything, it would be we need to be on TV. I think the thing that I would like to see in the future is to maybe we could stop playing on baseball fields and actually everyone being able to have a home field somewhere. But, you know, we'll play on baseball fields because that's to give us a bigger ballpark. But then we'll also play on the college fields because that's the parks that we have around the country. But the college fields are smaller than the international play and it's a lot smaller field. So pitchers don't really like that, playing on a smaller park. Hitters love it. But that would be the ultimate thing, being able to reduce the amount of games on baseball fields. But we need to constantly be changing the way we do things until we get it right. Because we can't go out and say, hey, put us on TV. Hey, Nike, you give us, you know, an endorsement. Because you know what? I'd be damned if someone tells me what to do with my own money. So why do I get to tell some company what to do with their money? Instead, let's go back out and put a product out on the field that someone wants to pay for and be a part of. That's my mission in this role now, is how do we make our product, the pride, something that people want to be a part of. This is for you, babe.